Psalm 3, verse 1. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Verse 2. Many that will be wasted of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Verse 1. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Verse 5. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. Verse 6. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Verse 7. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast making all my enemies upon the sheep bone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Verse 8. Salvation belongs unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Amen. I use King James Version where you can use Good News Bible for better understanding. Now listen to this. People are putting in a lot of effort right now to ensure that they have food on the table for themselves and their families. They get up early and travel to a variety of areas in order to work hard so that they may provide food for their family and ensure that they can continue to live. But unfortunately, not all of us make it to the end of the day alive. Consider yourself extremely fortunate if you are able to watch the sun go down, then go to bed and wake up the next morning to the sight of the sun shining. If this happened to you, you should count your blessings. Many are in the burial ground. Many are in the hospital. Many are gone through accidents. Many are gone while sleeping. Why can't you count yourself lucky among the living? Up and thankful to the Almighty God. He is the only one that deserves praise, worship, and prayer. Learn how to make use of this prayer each time you wake up. Psalm 3 is very powerful. Make it a habit.